Do you sometimes feel like a loser and people are making fun of you because you're sitting by yourself and it makes you really self-conscious? Hey guys, it's Alana and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be talking about a couple of ways that you can enjoy having fun alone so you don't feel like you are a loser. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I've been single for seven and a half years. This channel is all about my journey being single and building up my confidence and helping you build your confidence and enjoying your best bold single life. So if you are single trying to do all that stuff and navigating the dating world, hit the subscribe button down below and ring the bell so you don't miss any of my videos. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. so you don't feel like a friendless loser when going to a restaurant or to a bar by yourself. The best and easiest thing that you can possibly do in this situation is to sit at the bar. There are so many open seats usually at a bar and they're kind of designed for one person, if you know what I mean. And this just prevents a really good way for you to kind of just enjoy your drink, enjoy your meal without anyone kind of judging you. And honestly, no one's gonna really notice that you're by yourself if you're sitting at the bar. So this is a really, really easy solution to all of that. And plus it gives you a chance to talk to the bartender when they are serving you. Easy way to strike up conversation, shows that you're very sociable and outgoing. Even if you're an introvert and you start a conversation, this trick is just so easy and you just really can't go wrong with it. On to the next one. Let's say you go to a restaurant and there's no bar for you to sit at. Pick the smallest table to sit at so you're not being that jerk who's taking up a whole table and have a book or a computer with you. Because I feel like a lot of people don't wanna go to restaurants by themselves because they're gonna get bored. If you bring a book or a computer with you, and this works perfectly if there's a Wi-Fi, you can get so much stuff done, work on a project, check your emails, watch a YouTube video, do whatever. Reading or just being on your computer is going to make you look productive. It's showing you that you're really focused on doing something in that moment. It's gonna look like that you don't care that you're by yourself because you have something that's gonna keep yourself occupied. So that's always a nice thing to use as opposed to using your phone. I know we have phones too and keep you occupied, but reading a book and having a computer is going to make you look more productive. Let's go on to the third thing. So let's talk about the third thing. That is talking to people. So what I mean by this is let's say you are sitting at a bar by yourself. Person next to you seems interesting. You wanna start a conversation, but you don't know how to. Look at what they're wearing or if they're reading something or if you can eavesdrop on their conversation with another person and it resonates with you, make a quick comment. And if they're open to starting that conversation, then you can keep that conversation going and it's gonna make you look, again, more sociable and it kind of even presents an opportunity for you to hang out with those people and maybe even make a new friend. So just kind of keep that in mind. It doesn't hurt to talk to people. I remember when I was at the Vegas airport and I needed to eat dinner, I wanted to find a place that had a bar that I could sit down at and get a beer and get a meal. And so I talked to the lady next to me and the way I opened up a conversation to her, literally just randomly said to her, whatever you do, do not ever order this beer because it is disgusting. And that led it to a good 30 minute conversation with her and I had someone to talk with while I had my meal. On to the fourth thing. So the fourth thing to keep in mind is just for you to understand that nobody gives a flying F that you were doing something alone. I'm telling you, if someone really has the urge to make fun of you to your face, being like, <laughs> most people aren't gonna do that, but if a rare case happens, just know that is a reflection on them and it has nothing to do with you. That person just lacks a lot of confidence and is very insecure with themselves to sit by themselves because they're afraid that they're gonna look like a friendless loser. So just kind of keep that in mind. It's a them problem, not a you problem. On to the last thing. The fifth final thing to remember is that the ball is always going to be in your court. So if you've tried all these things and you're still feeling a little weird about it, that's okay. You're just not there yet and you just gotta take some time because your confidence will gradually get better and better and better as you keep practicing and start changing your mindset. 
So if you are in the early stages of doing this and you're not ready and you're not comfortable with all this yet, just remember that you can always leave if it's making you feel too insecure or if it's just simply just too much for you. It's okay to leave, just try and come back and do it again. It takes time to build up confidence. So that's something you can always remember in the future. It always depends on you as a person and how you work things out with yourself. That completes this video on how to enjoy doing things by yourself without feeling like a friendless loser. If these tips helped you feel a little bit better about doing things by yourself, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.